Hey everyone, we're here at the Salad Master office in London, Kentucky, and we are going to do you guys a apple cobbler. And we're just going to use one can of apple pie filling. And if you don't like apple, you can use cherry, mango, pear, blackberry, blueberry, cherry, any any kind of pie, uh, any kind of pie filling that you would want. One can is all you need. We are going to use a half a box of yellow cake mix. And um, yellow is better than yellow, so once you taste it, you'll see. So a half a bag is all you need. And we're going to dust on some allspice seasoning. That's optional. And we're gonna put just a tad bit of cinnamon. That's optional. You can actually make this cobbler with two ingredients if you prefer to and don't have the extra seasonings. It's no big deal. We are going to be using our griddle. This is a, a very well-known piece. And for instance, it's great for pizzas. It's great for baking biscuits on. You can fry steak. Matter of fact, we do New York strip steak on here in just about six minutes, three minutes on each side. You're unlimited with the things that you can do with this beautiful piece here. Um, we're just gonna take, start off with our can of apples. Just gonna take and put them around, just move them around the pan here. And if you've got a larger family and you're cooking for maybe six or eight people and you prefer to do two cans, that's perfectly okay. Um, I'm just doing this as a demonstration for some people that wanted to know about doing the cobbler. We're just going to take, smear this around. It's very, very simple. Anyone can do it. Matter of fact, it's designed for a 12 year old. So once this starts to heat up, all of that will blend together. So you don't have to really worry about covering everything. So we're going to take a little bit of cinnamon. This is just ground cinnamon. I'm gonna sprinkle that on there. That was probably a half a teaspoon. We're going to take some allspice. Now ladies, this is not old spice that your husband would use. This is allspice. This smells wonderful. And if you'll just sprinkle a tad bit, maybe a half a teaspoon, of allspice on there. It just gives it a wonderful flavor. It smells so delicious, you guys. And then we're using about a half a bag, that may be a little over a half a bag of yellow cake mix. So we'll just sprinkle that on. And what you wanna do is try to just even your cake mix out. But again, once it gets hot, it will kind of melt it down and form into a liquid and it will even out. It'll be fine and dandy. So you don't have to really worry about that. So this is what we're gonna have for dessert with this meatloaf uh, this evening for our dinner. Again, just even it out real good. Now, if you wanna get real creative and you like peaches and some of your family may like uh, apple or cherry, you could use one can of cherry on one side, one can of apple on the other side, and it is beautiful, and everybody gets what they want. So it's a real simple, easy, versatile recipe. So dump that on there. Get rid of my things here. Just kind of smooth that around. Just like that. Give it a little shake. Looks pretty, huh? And then we're gonna use our electric skillet vapor valve lid on here. And once that clicks, we're gonna turn it down to low. We're gonna leave it for about 10 minutes before we raise the lid. So we're gonna put it on number five, let it click, turn it to low, wait 10 minutes before you lift the lid. And I'll be back to show you guys the results. Thanks for watching. 